The hospital waiting room is crowded with people from all walks of life, but they all have the same fears running through their minds. Will the drugs really work? How long will it take and how much will this cost me and my family? Each year, the pharmaceutical industry spends more than $50 billion on drug research and development, but only about 20 new drugs are eventually approved by the FDA. An astonishing one in 5,000 drugs actually advances to human trials, and on average, a single drug takes $1 billion and at least 12 years to develop and finally reach the market. Hi, I'm Srima Ali with Ducali 3D Printing Solutions. And let's face it, humans are not lab rats. Our diversity accounts for large differences in the way we met metabolize drugs. So why test drugs on animals to mimic the human body? What if we could use our own cells to engineer tissue and actually uh, model the body, um, accounting for feedback and developing a, a drug molecule and testing its effects? Ducali 3D Printing Solutions has revolutionized the 3D printing arena with its BioInk and novel dual print test system. Unlike most commercial 3D printers, which are not biocompatible, the Ducali printer prints real, live, healthy human cells instead of material parts. By, uh, by printing a patient's own cells, doctors can personalize your medicine by testing drugs on your cells in vitro, eliminating the one to three years of uh, lab and animal testing altogether. This way, clinical trials start and end with your cells, eradicating the high personal cost of trial and error on your body. What would take an entire team of specialists, an additional two to year, uh, six years of clinical trials, and one, uh, nearly $1.2 million, the Ducali 3D printer requires only two people, mere hours for printing and weeks for testing, and just uh, a fraction of the price. Ducali has successfully printed human bone cells, and our technology can be applied to any cell type. Currently priced at $200,000 per printer and bioing package, Ducali aims to partner with academic research labs and established companies like LabCorp to plug into existing laboratory infrastructure. We hope to raise $250,000 seed money to finance prototype uh, improvements and even capture the attention of government programs like Technology Transfer to expand our process from cell tissue engineering to in printing entire organ systems. Thank you. Yep, Dan, Daryl. You, you took a, a pretty complex topic, and I think you, you were able to kind of uh, explain it to us in, in layman's terms where we can understand it. So, uh, well done. All right, vote on presentation. All right, and a vote on the business plan vi uh, viability, the business viability. <laughs> 